23 years I have slept in peace, certain that I diverted the prophecy. But then, tonight, it came to me in a terrible dream. The Seeker has been named. My name is Craig Parker, I play Dark and Roll. I like to think of him as the super baddie. Kind of lord of all things evil in the series. Camera, lightning, exit! Dark and Rahl, when we first meet, is sort of an emperor, really, a, a wizard and an emperor. And he, at the moment, controls two of the three territories in this world and is seeking to control the third. He's incredibly power hungry. He's a very ambitious man. For a good sort of 20 years, he's none of the prophecy. He's very aware that there is a seeker, that there is someone who's been chosen, someone who's coming for him. The seeker. He lives. As great villains do, he slaughtered every child that possibly could become the seeker, except he left one out. Then let it be known throughout the three territories that whoever brings me the seeker will be rewarded beyond imagining. The show looks beautiful. It's shot fantastically. Locations are great. Right from the start, uh, Mark Beasley, the director, has been pushing the fact, and, and is, I think everyone's very aware of the fact, that all that stuff is meaningless unless there is a, a heart and a humanity underneath it. So you are supposed to kill this dark and raw. They say it's my destiny. Amazing fantasy things happen within this, but all the characters have to remain human. They have to be people who have desires and wants and needs. I think that will be the strength of the show, that you know, we really care about Richard's journey, we really care about Colin. It just happens that they live in this other world that, that is in our world.